Amidst growing concerns over South Africa's interactions with adversaries of the United States, a significant legislative response has emerged. This video was made possible by Mizizi International, the official African diaspora clothing brand. Visit mizizashop.com for more information. America has introduced the U.S. South Africa Relations Review Bill to assess and potentially recalibrate the diplomatic ties between the two nations. Before we dive into our topic today, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to our channels and ringing the bell to be notified about all our exciting future videos. Last Wednesday, a bill was presented to the House of Representatives aimed at reassessing the United States Association with South Africa, citing concerns about its actions that potentially undermine U.S. national security. The legislation, titled the U.S.-South Africa Bilateral Relations Review Act, was introduced by Republican Representative John James, signaling a proactive approach to scrutinizing and potentially reshaping the diplomatic ties between the two nations. The bill stated that South Africa has been building ties to countries and actors that undermine America's national security and threaten our way of life through its military and political cooperation with China and Russia and its support of U.S.-designated terrorist organization Hamas. Under this current administration, America has been put last, leaving our allies and partners beholden to dictators and despots in Beijing and Moscow for critical needs like energy. To ensure America's energy security and national security, we must examine our alliances and disentangle from those who remain willing to work with our adversaries. Proposed as a comprehensive measure, the seven-page bill mandates a thorough assessment of the bilateral ties between South Africa and the United States. If enacted, it would task the President, in collaboration with the Secretary of State and Secretary of Defense, with conducting a detailed review. The primary objective of this review is to ascertain whether South Africa's actions had any adverse impact on U.S. national security or foreign policy objectives. The bill goes on to emphasize that the United States must prevent strategic political and security collaboration and information exchange with the People's Republic of China PRC, and the Russian Federation, particularly any cooperation that could support Russia's unlawful aggression in Ukraine or enhance its global influence. It also highlights concerns that the foreign policy actions of the African National Congress ANC, no longer align with its stated non-alignment stance, but instead favor the PRC, the Russian Federation, and Hamas, an acknowledged proxy of Iran, thereby undermining U.S. national security and foreign policy objectives. The bill outlines several actions taken by the South African government that have been interpreted by some as indicating alignment with China, Hamas, and Russia. One of the 26 points mentioned is South Africa's submission of a complaint to the International Court of Justice accusing Israel of genocide. This action has been described by some as politically motivated and wrongful. Another point refers to the docking and transfer of arms at a South African naval base in December 2022 by the Lady R, a Russian cargo ship that was under U.S. sanctions. This event has been seen by some as raising concerns about South Africa's neutrality in international conflicts. The bill also highlights the joint naval exercises conducted by South Africa, China, and Russia in February 2023, titled Operation Mosi 2. These exercises coincided with the first anniversary of the Russia-Ukraine war. Experts explain that if the review finds South Africa's foreign policy concerning to the U.S., it could lead to strained relations and potentially decreased cooperation on various fronts, including trade, security, and development. Depending on the conclusions of the review, South Africa could face pressure to align more closely with U.S. positions on international issues. On the other hand, a positive impact of the bill might encourage a more open and constructive dialogue between the U.S. and South Africa, leading to a better understanding of each other's perspectives and potentially finding common ground. So, what does the potential passage of this bill mean for the future of South African trade? To best answer this, 
is critical to examine the trade and aid benefits South Africa receives from its collaboration with America against the trade and aid benefits it receives from its membership in the fast-rising BRICS bloc. In terms of trade, South Africa engages in bilateral trade with the United States, which includes various sectors such as mining, manufacturing, agriculture, and services. The United States is one of South Africa's key trading partners, and the two countries have established trade agreements to facilitate commerce and investment. In 2022, the trade relationship between the United States and South Africa amounted to approximately $25.5 billion, positioning the United States as South Africa's second largest trading partner, following China. Regarding aid, South Africa receives assistance from the United States through various channels, including development aid, humanitarian aid, and investment. While South Africa is considered a middle-income country and may not receive traditional aid in the form of grants, it benefits from technical assistance, capacity-building programs, and investment initiatives supported by the United States. Therefore, many experts agree that any deterioration in relations between these two nations would significantly impede South Africa's already challenged economy. Additionally, given that South Africa is scheduled to hold elections this year, the potential loss of such a significant partnership could have a notable impact on voter sentiment. For the first time since the ANC came into power in 1994, projections suggest that the party may receive less than 50% of the vote. On the other hand, as a member of BRICS, South Africa enjoys economic and political ties with other major emerging economies, providing it with alternative avenues for trade, investment, and diplomatic support. In 2021, South African exports to BRICS countries reached $677 billion, with China accounting for 72% of that figure, making the Asian giant South Africa's largest trading partner. Additionally, BRICS nations collaborate on development projects, research initiatives, and financial mechanisms like the New Development Bank, or NDB, which has approved $5.4 billion in funding for South African projects. The NDB provides funding for infrastructure and sustainable development projects in BRICS countries and other emerging economies. Also, South Africa can access up to $10 billion under the BRICS Contingent Reserve Arrangement, BRICS's alternative to the INF. Beyond China, Brazil, Russia, and India also offer cooperation in various fields, such as trade, science, and technology. For instance, South Africa benefits from knowledge exchange and research collaborations with Brazilian institutions in areas like agriculture and biofuels. Similarly, partnerships with Russian and Indian entities contribute to South Africa's efforts in fields such as space exploration, renewable energy, and healthcare. Overall, South Africa leverages its membership in BRICS to access resources, expertise, and opportunities for mutual development and cooperation across multiple sectors. Consequently, experts agree that while South Africa's potential trade restrictions with the U.S. due to the proposed bill would undoubtedly be challenging, its membership in BRICS could offer some degree of mitigation. This is primarily due to China, its largest trading partner and fellow BRICS member, potentially stepping in to fill the gap. Additionally, increased trade and cooperation with other BRICS nations like India, Brazil, and even recent additions like the UAE, could provide alternative markets and diversify South Africa's economic dependence. However, it's crucial to acknowledge that replacing well-established trade ties with the U.S., its second-largest partner, might not be entirely seamless, and the economic impact of such a shift remains uncertain. The introduction of the U.S.-South Africa Bilateral Relations Review Act marks the beginning of a potentially significant development in the relationship between the two nations. Whether it ultimately fosters better understanding, leads to policy adjustments, or strains diplomatic ties remains to be seen. The final form of the bill, the U.S. administration's response, and South Africa's approach to the review process will all play crucial roles in shaping its ultimate impact. So what do you think of our video? What are your thoughts regarding the U.S.-SA bill? Do you believe it will reshape future diplomatic relations between the two nations? Let us know what you think in the comments below. And as always, subscribe to the New Africa channel for more exciting future videos.